results. Really? But isn't stuff like where celebs went to high school easy to find online? Usually, yeah. But this time, no hits, even on the underground sites. All I'm seeing is fake info from deluded fans. Even if she changed her name, there'd still be traces of that somewhere. Usually. The shit even you can't find, Futaba? This reeks of a serious scrub job. Someone, probably her, intentionally hid her past. <sighs> this is quite the setback. If we don't discover Alice's alma mater, we'll never find a way into that secret room. But isn't it, like, impossible to just erase stuff from the internet on your own? How else could we approach this? What if Mako-chan's sister looks into it for us? She's a prosecutor turned lawyer. Maybe she'll have access to useful intel we couldn't gather ourselves. Oh, that could work. Think it's doable, Makoto? I don't have a problem doing it, but how exactly would I go about asking? Personal information and histories are legally protected, so I doubt she'd readily agree to hand that over to us. Yeah, just asking her to tell us where Alice went to school is not gonna fly. I hear you there. I really don't want to wind up on the other side of a table with her getting all, answer me! Ah, uh, okay. Alice Aragi's school. It's, it's the guy from... The Shady Detective. I'm PubSec, not just some cop that Wait, I'm not shady. Am I? Yes, quite. These kids are something else. Would you quit saying that kind of stuff with that smile on your face? So what do you want? Come on, enough of the cold shoulder. You know I'm trying to help you out. You help us? You want to know where Alice Shiragi went to school, right? Did you know how easy it was to eavesdrop on you here? For some reason, there's almost no personal info available on Alice Hiraki, especially prior to her debut. That is just a big old blank. So, since this is giving you all a hard time, I've swooped in to lend a hand. Intel and Alice would be no sweat for me over in PubSec HQ, so how about it? Want some help? Nah, we're good. We'll handle it on our own. Yep, just a little more time and I'll get it myself. Great, happy to help. But, wait, come on now. This is a real deal connection here. Just be grateful and take the intel. We're sorry, we just have zero trust in the police. I told you to stop smiling when you say that. Fine, I've got to earn your trust first, I get it. Alice Hiragi is your senpai. She attended Kosei High? Hmm? Uh, no, everyone's senpai but yours. She went to Shujin? And don't forget it. Because you owe me one now. Got it? Well, there he goes. It's hard to gauge whether he's friend or foe. More importantly, how did he know where Alice went to school? Could the police already have their eyes on her as well? It's possible. And it would mean that we can trust him. For now, at least. Well, I guess all we can do now is try it. We can find the secret room if we go to Shujin, right? That appears to be correct. Everything should go... And we'll have access. Wow, 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 huh? <laughs> sure. Yeah. That's settled. Let's all head to Shujin now. There's no point in dawdling here. Yeah, Makoto's right. Time to check out Shujin Academy. Write something. <laughs> Let's get 
to work. Are we sure this is right? I'm not seeing anything weird. I have no doubt. This place gives me the same sensation as when I touched the birdcage. Think this is what would bring me back here. I suppose so. Even though it's only been about half a year. Still, I had no idea Alice Hiragi graduated from Shujin. I didn't either. And I figured a student council president would know better than anyone about celebrity graduates. Perhaps she had a past here that she wished to erase. What do you mean? Those voices we heard in her jail. Those cutting words and that painful cry. I don't know whether she was one of the instigators or the victim of such bullying. However she experienced it. Left such a gaping wound in her heart that she refuses to even acknowledge the truth of the matter. And that truth took place right here. So that's why Shujin has a secret room. <laughs> well, we should get moving. What's next? We may not be in Shibuya, but this place is still linked to its jail. Inputting the proper Emma keyword should permit access as usual. Okay, let's try it. Everybody ready? Yeah, we're ready. Keyword, Wonderland. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. It's a classroom? Is this what a school is like? It's rather different than how the internet makes it appear. The cognitive distortion's really strong here. What's going on? Uh, hey, look! Ah, the ghost! Are you seriously crying? Ugh, how pathetic. Trying to get us to go easy on you. You tricked him the same way too, didn't you? No, I... I'd never do that. What? What is this? God, you're disgusting. Serious? Why are you still alive? <sighs> do us a favor. And die already. Also changed. As these prison cells. No time. Here it comes. Look sharp, folks. We should avoid wasting energy on our attacks. Let's read the enemy's movements and respond in time. <laughs> I 
huge fan. What a terrible thing to sit in the classroom as well. I mean, you see why I was so the to the Yes! Gotta exploit those weaknesses! Rumbling. The birdcage in the jail is now unlocked. We will be able to access it. For real? It appears our most recent target held the key. In other words, we defeated the warden guarding the key. A warden in Alice's memories. A key to the cage in her jail. So a different shadow held the key, not Alice's? What are you going on about? Uh, oh, nothing. I was just thinking how many differences there are from the palaces. Good point. The palaces don't have any rooms like these, or wardens guarding keys in hidden locations. It's as if the more we learn, the messier the situation gets. If it weren't for Sophie, we wouldn't have even made it here. Have I been helpful to the Phantom Thieves? Mm-hmm. You know it. Praise accepted. Mm. Well, we'll praise you all you want later got a birdcage to bust open. True. We have one last task in the real world first. Let's send Alice the calling card and take back those desires. Okay, all that's left is send in the calling card. What should it say? We're after the desires that Alice is seizing from the people whose hearts she changed, right? Then don't we have to write something like, We shall take back the desires you've seized! Smart. Using the same logic that works on treasures is probably our best shot. Once the desire takes form, we can steal it. If we return the victims their own desires, everyone should return to normal. So, what'll happen to Alice then? Well, she should be having a change of heart and confessing soon after. Actually, that's not set in stone. What we're stealing this time are the desires that Alice seized from others. This isn't her own desire or ambition. Or like the treasure we found in palaces. There's no way of knowing whether or not Alice's heart will be changed. Even if we rescue her victims, without a change of heart in Alice, this will just turn into a pointless cycle. But if the calling card works, her desire will manifest inside the birdcage. That creates a high probability that we'll encounter Alice's shadow there. We did cause quite a scene destroying the lock. Whether through words or fists, don't we still have the opportunity to change her heart via her shadow? Then let's do it! Let's take her head on! Oh, uh, sorry. I know that's the dangerous approach, but... If you guys are all up for it... I want to rescue Alice, too. Not just her victims. Alice said she wanted to be a ray of light that could inspire people suffering through life. You mean when she was on TV? I don't know if she really meant all that. Well, I do. I get why she said it. 
because of all the bullying in her past. I mean, doesn't it seem like we saw part of Alice's trauma in the secret room? Trauma? It's like an invisible wound in a person's heart. It comes from living through painful experiences. A wound in a heart. Maybe that trauma's the whole reason the jail formed. Trauma distorted Alice's heart, giving birth to the jail. That is very similar to Palace Generation. I've got to say it's possible. But how is that trauma relevant to Alice's current behavior? This is just a hunch, but... I think she sees what she's doing as some kind of revenge. Against the kinds of girls who treated her badly. Stealing someone's dude right in front of her as revenge to Alice? Oh, that's pretty sick. But her shadow's operation is way too massive for that to be all. She just has too many victims already. What if she simply kept escalating because no one was there to stop her? Becoming a monarch must create an awful amount of distortion. All that only makes me want to help Alice more. If her heart's grown that distorted, then I want her to at least remember how it feels being a ray of light for somebody. Is she beyond helping at this point? I don't know. But there has to be someone who at least tries. We can't just abandon Alice. Oh, Lady On. Don't speak too soon. <laughs> I'm really gonna lay into her for all this. I'm with you. Let's do it. No objections here, either. However, should we engage her in combat, we must avoid taking her life at all costs. Absolutely. That's out of the question. Best case scenario, we just talk her out of it. Guys, do you think I could write the calling card this time? There's something I need to tell her personally. Thanks. It'll be great. Writing a calling card? Need any help? Ooh, you can help me with the phrasing, Sophia. Awesome. All we gotta figure out now is the delivery. <laughs> I may have a plan for that. This is a special reunion of the Phantom Thieves. We gotta do this right. 